In the enigmatic world of Geronimus Bosch, a painting emerges, not as a mere representation but as an intricate narrative, weaving through the mystical and the real. The temptation of Saint Anthony, attributed to the manor of Bosch around c. 1550 c. 1600, is a piece that encapsulates this duality. Saint Anthony, depicted in solemn prayer on the left foreground, leans on a rock adorned with an apple and staff. His cloak bears the Tau cross of Antonine monks, a symbol echoing his devoutness amidst chaos. Separated by a river navigated by a woman in a small boat, we are drawn into an allegorical scene unfolding to his right. Herein lies an architectural anomaly, a house with its upper part morphing into the head of an old woman, symbolizing borderness according to Bax's interpretation. A dovecot perched atop her head and a nude woman knee-deep in vice signify the house's ill repute, a brothel. In this tumultuous landscape where sanctity meets profanity, symbols are rife, from swans adorning flag signboards reminiscent of medieval inns to bird-like devils encircling a burning monastery. Each element is meticulously crafted to narrate temptation's omnipresence. Yet ambiguity lingers, three variants exist including one housed in Madrid's Prado and another on canvas at Escorial where brothel imagery is replaced by crucifixion, an enigma that has led scholars like Bax and Unverfert to question their origin from Bosch himself. As we delve deeper into this masterpiece painted in Bosch's manner yet dating back to mid-16th century due to dendrochronological evidence, we are left pondering, is it homage or imitation? In either case, the temptation of Saint Anthony remains emblematic of Aarti's eternal dance between divine inspiration and human interpretation.